The last time the Shrewsbury baseball team made it to the state finals was back in 2000. Lee Diamantopoulos was a junior on that team. They had Jimmy Board, Sean Walker, James Bonomo. Now, Diamantopoulos looking to lead the Colonials back to the state championship game as their coach. Shrewsbury taking on East Long Meadow at Tivenin Field tonight, state semifinals. Top of the first, runner on for East Long Meadow. Francesco Ferentino drilling one to the wall in center. Hunter Mazza coming around to score. And East Long Meadow drawing first blood. It is 1-0. Shrewsbury's Declan McSweeney getting the strikeout to end the inning. Top of the second, runner on for East Long Meadow. Chris Wright fires to Ryan Meyer for the out. Beautiful. Jimmy Board style. Bottom of the second, base is loaded for Wright. And he shoots one into right field. Mike Bonolo scores. We're all tied up at one. Base is still loaded for big John West. West lifting one to right field. TJ Morgera on third, tagging, scoring, 2-1 Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury is heading back to the state championship. They win it 5-4, your final. Dave Nero, who is the head coach of that 2000 team, is an assistant on this year's Shrewsbury team. Now we've got Tahanto and Hopkins Academy, the Division IV state semis in baseball, top of the first scoreless game. Rob Salerno pokes one into left. Trevor Grady scores. Derek Arcan scores as well. Tahanto jumping in front, 2 0. Matt St. Dennis then executing the squeeze brilliantly. Ethan Soriol scores. 3 0 Stags in front. There he is. Jim Rails back. Continuing the rally. Lifts one into center. That scores a run. 4 0 Tahanto in front. Rails back's got an RBI. Bottom of the first now, Ted Durand on the hill and Ted Durand on his game. Durand getting the strikeout. Durand getting two strikeouts. Tahanto wins this one in extra innings. Five to four, your final. The Stags will be playing for a state championship. The Mawinney High School Football All-Star Game is this Friday night at Shrewsbury. Now it's the North versus the South. The beauty of this game is you have kids who are rivals for four years. Now they're teammates and having a blast together. A lot of the guys, we played with them, Pop Warner, AYF, so you know it's great to get back on the field with them actually playing with them. But I know the North Squad's got a stacked team, and we got a stacked team, but it's just been so much fun out here the past couple weeks, and we're just all looking forward to Friday. Just going against everyone and making friendships with guys we were enemies with a couple months ago. So just the whole experience is really, um, really humbling. Everyone's having a lot of fun. You realize that you play against a lot of each other, so I mean, everyone's talking crap, but... It's fun. You're all picking each other up at the end of the day. It's a real great atmosphere. It's been a lot of fun getting to know everybody and just like a really talented team and competitive. It's a lot of fun to practice with them. And, uh, playing one side of the ball is fun too, so get a little break. It's fun. These guys are great. It's, uh, it's nice to compete, but it's lighthearted at the same time, so it's a good time. And everyone's so talented. Just getting to know people and uh, figure out what people are good at. It's, pretty, it's been fun. All right, the Mawinney All-Star football game is 7 o'clock at Shrewsbury High School on Friday. We will be broadcasting the game live right here on Charter TV 3. Division I state championship boys tennis, Algonquin versus Brookline, number one singles. Ryan, Rian rather, Farhart for Algonquin in the near court. Rian with the forehand winner. Then it's number two singles, Christian Jorgensen in the far court. Jorgensen with two great backhands, winning the point. But it is Brookline that wins the match. Brookline wins back-to-back -back state championships as they win today 5-0. The Algonquin girls team falling in the state title game as well today to Acton Box Bro. So two great seasons for Algonquin boys and girls tennis come to a close today. Oh, what did I stay for, too, to have the last day? Finally. Oh, my gosh. No rain. It no, was a little muggy. It held but off, but it did that. hold off so they could play the tennis, at least. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, that's going to do it for us here on Worcester News tonight. For Kevin Shea, I'm Anna Botari. We'll see you back here tomorrow.